Good morning, it's the 25th of August 2010 and this is your daily outlook. Buy the dollar or sell the dollar is the question. The dollar was volatile yesterday with the dollar strength on the back of risk aversion in Europe, which later reversed as US housing data weakened further. July existing home sales fell 27% as the effect of the removal of the housing credit continues to be felt. On a more positive note, however, we saw the Richmond Fed manufacturing survey coming better than expected. Dolly M price action was impressive yesterday as the yen made new 15-year highs as global risk aversion sparked a flight to safety. The Dolly Yen traded between 85.72 and 83.57. Looking ahead, we have the July durable goods and July new home sales. These two pieces of data will closely be watched as traders look for more clues on pending US slowdown. Ben Bernanke's speech on Friday will also be a market mover as the Fed chairman will try and explain why the Fed decided to reinvest the maturing debt and maintain its large balance sheet. The euro tested 126 as euro yen followed dollar yen to fresh decade lows and stock markets around the globe fell. Some weak US data allowed a bounce to 127 but an S&P downgrade of long-term debt from Ireland sent the euro lower in late US trade. Eurodollar traded with a low of 125.86 and a high of 127.21 before closing at 126.60. Looking ahead, German IFO business climate forecast at 105.7 versus 106.2 previously. Currencies to watch out for are the Eurodollar and Dollar Yen. The Eurodollar pivot point is at 127.20 with a preference to enter into short positions at 127.10. The dollar yen pivot point is at 84.60, with a preference to enter into short positions at 84.55. Today's calendar of market movers German IFO business climate for August is expected at 105.7, US durable good orders for July is expected at 2.8, and US new home sales for July are expected at 0.33 million. Now on to equity markets. US equities closed negative yesterday with the SP500 down 1.45% and the Dow was down 1.32%. European bursts were negative with the FTSE down by 1.51%, the DAX closed down 1.26% and the CAC closed down 1.75%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was down 1.93% and the Hang Seng down 0.43%. This has been your daily outlook. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.